Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I um, um, a little. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new then hello, my name is Joe, and I do nail stuff. Should I start again? No. She does stuff for nail stuff. Stuff she does for nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Let's do some nice, easy, spring, eastery kind of designs. Uh, I'm starting with Lemonade and Turtle Beach, both gel perfection colours that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. Da -da -da -da. I'm ombreing these together. I'm using a detail brush instead of an ombre brush um, because a lot of the colours are, are really creamy, which is fantastic but sometimes I feel like a detail brush would blend better than an ombre brush because I can be a bit more specific I don't know if that makes sense it did at the time uh, so I'm using a detail brush and I'll get that middle color and then work on the middle color to the green and then the middle color into the yellow um, first coat is never fantastic so don't worry uh, I'm just pushing my finger onto it and then pulling it that's going to sort of stretch out the product that's on there and take off a bit of the bulk um which you can do on a client you know on their sort of free edge you can get to a bit of the nail bed would be wearing gloves with a client so i'm not sure how it would work because i haven't actually done it on a client have i i don't know i can't remember i haven't seen humans in months um so i'm now taking alaska i have done two coats of the ombre I'm taking Alaska and giving these flowers as much effort as I will probably ever put into drawing flowers because, oh, you know, I'd rather just use the foil. <laughs> um, so I'm just doing little kind of dashes, but obviously where you're using a dotting tool, the top of the dash is going to be rounded. So um, these are kind of intentionally not looking that great because I, I wasn't you know, I'm not going to use a brush and try and get detailed with flowers because I'm not a flowery girl. Um, so that was as much as I was willing to um, <laughs> give those. I'm now taking lemonade. I've cured the um, petals and then I'm just doing a dot of lemonade in the center. You could do these flowers. Am I shouting? Maybe. You could do these flowers as five dots next to each other and then the yellow dot in the middle that would have looked better realized that after i'd done it what are you gonna do um and then you would have um a kind of what what i don't know a round petaled flower all dexter hair um so you could do the dot way instead of this way because let's be honest they just look like someone's dropped a bunch of eggs on the floor so maybe do dots, do five dots with petals and flowers and things. I'm shouting again. It's always good to do an odd number of petals. It just looks, it looks better. Uh, so that's that one. Dunzo. I'm now taking French lavender. There's another hair there. Oh, just, just paint it in and cure that shit. Um, so I've done two coats of that and I'm taking powder blue and just kind of using my brush to make a square um, depending on the amount of free edge, I'd probably use a, a brush for this on a client as well, the bottle brush, um, but you could always use a, a striping brush or a detail brush just to get the outline. So I'm going to cure that or at least half cure it just so it's still. Uh, and now I'm taking powder pink and I'm going to, I went super out of shot here. So I think I just cut some because it was just my fingers, which what would Jules say? Look at the state of it. I've been picking them because there, there's no reason. I just enjoy picking them off. Um, so I've done that kind of as a square, but had the blue one overlapping it. So I've cured that. I'm now taking Alaska and I'm just going to outline the squares. And that will have a cure. How is everybody? You okay? You all right? How are you doing? Um, thank you for everyone's comments. I haven't got a lovers and haters today because... There have been no haters. I know. Has nobody heard my voice? <laughs> um, but I will try and squeeze in some lovers. I don't know. I haven't looked at this to really see when there'll be a spot for it. Um, so I've cured Alaska and I'm now taking pink petals, was that, I think? Um, and we're just doing some 
hands up if you remember drunk baby circles that's what we're going for um purposefully not perfect circles uh just a kind of wibbly wobbly drunk baby with a pen circles um and then i was trying to avoid getting too close to the white lines because i was going to do kind of stitching but i did something different so you could get closer to the white lines if you wanted and i'm now taking the french lavender and doing the same on the pink part oh no i'm gonna sneeze okay i've sneezed <laughs> the sun came out from behind a cloud for about five seconds and my allergies were like hello <laughs> so these dots will have a full cure will they yes yes they will and we're now taking penelope <laughs> <laughs> Penelope, it's not that funny, Joe. Um, and, we, <laughs> and we're doing some wiggly swirls. Um, you know how they, they, the people who do put effort into painting flowers, do for a rose, they'll do like a little bit in the middle and then sort of a, a curved V on one side and then they'll do another bit somewhere else. We're pretending that we've done that, uh, but we're not doing it because, oh. Um, and these are so small that, um, people are just going to believe us okay uh, so I'm doing that on the pink it tends to be that whichever color you use when doing these sort of Kath Kidston type little flowers um, that the color you use for this step is more prominent um, so I suppose pick whichever color you want more prominent and do that as this step not the first step I used um, powder blue on the purple ones can't see it very well should have changed it but didn't um, and I'm now taking Turtle Beach and we're going to do some little V's. That's all, just little V's. So we've done blobs, wiggly lines and V's. Um, and this is a lot smaller than what you're seeing on your screen. So from a distance or, you know, even in, even right close up because it's so small, it just gives the illusion of, illusion of flowers. What am I doing now? I added some dots. And now instead of doing the crisscross, um, as if it was a sort of patchwork, I decided to do dots because the I did do the crisscrosses first and um, it looked a bit messy. Sorry, being loud again. Oh my goodness, it's now pissing down with rain. It was sunny a second ago, that's why I was sneezing. And now it's grey and pouring down with rain. Welcome to England. Um, so we cured those dots and now we are topping with diamond glass, of course, of course. And that's that. Really simple, but kind of, you know, looks like a bit of effort went into it when it didn't really. And that's the maximum effort I'm willing to give hand-painted flowers. Okay, we've seen it. Off you go. On with the next one. Oh my goodness me. Um, what have we got now? Cream satin. And... Oh yes, okay. Uh, so I'm doing two coats of cream satin. I've tried to use similar colours like the same colors quite a lot in this video, just so I'm not using 50,000 colors. Um, and you know, I don't want anyone to feel like I need all of those colors just because, just for that design, you know? So I thought I'd use a bunch of the same colors. That and my desk was getting messy and I didn't like it. Um, so I'm painting a line with Dolly Daydream and I've half cured it so I've cured it enough that it's not going to move or bleed into the next lines, but you know, save yourself 30 seconds have a biscuit uh, so i'm doing this line i got it a bit thick um on the right side there so i made sure to pull off now just to take that bulk off um did i flash cure these as i go i'm not sure that i did um but you can do if you like to flash cure it's always just you know it'll keep something in place even if it's five seconds will stop it from moving so we're now taking violet vibes and we're going to do a line of that and then a line of powder blue i think and then a line of turtle beach um just the same we had a comment from fpg nails she said omg why did i not expect you to look like that good to put a face to the voice um that was in one of the videos before where i was on for a, a smidge um and she said, which famous person's nails would you like to do? And I couldn't think of anybody. And I still can't think of anybody. Um, I suppose I'd like to give Roger Federer a manicure. Just so I can touch him. <laughs> um, and for the same reason, Chris Hemsworth. 
I'm sure he needs a manicure. Um, but I couldn't think of any famous person whose nails... Oh, maybe Gaga. Does she wear funky nails? Not sure. Um, I think maybe Donna Meagle from Parks and Rec. Yeah, I think I'd like to do her nails. She's fictional, but still, she used to have some funky nails in that. So I'm going to go with that, I think. Federer, Hemsworth, Meagle. <laughs> Uh, I've now mixed some peach martini with Alaska um, just because the peach martini was a bit bolder than the other colours so I wanted to make it a bit more pastel um, and I'm doing some little dashes just dash do -do 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 dash discount code interval you can use code team dg for five percent off at diamondglitters.co.uk that's where all my polishes glitters stickers foils that's all the good stuff that's where it's from you can use code miss joe for 22 percent off at big potato games which is bigpotato.com that expires on the 11th of june they've got some great games i have a few i've got another one on the way great way to spend time with the people you're stuck indoors with at the moment uh, on pop sockets which is pop sockets dot whatever your country suffix is you can use code bb pop joe for 20 percent off that expires at the 27th of march i have an insane amount of pop sockets i don't know how anyone can hold a phone without one it's the sole reason i have not dropped and smashed every phone i've owned I will put links to all of these places in the description of this video. I do earn a small amount of commission from Big Potato Games and Pop Sockets, which apparently I'm supposed to let you know. So now you know. Let's get on with it. Um, down there and then along a bit as well. Um, I should have perhaps turned the nail a bit when doing this because I didn't do the best job. But again, we're going for quick, easy designs. So um a couple of out of place dashes is fine i'm using super gloss super gloss um just because obviously there's going to be some unevenness from all the lines my super gloss looks it, it's not normally like this i'm at the very end of the bottle like tilting it for about 10 minutes to pick something up um and it was really cold because it was really late at night um so i i mean it was really early in the morning it was about 2 a.m so uh, the heating wasn't on, so it was cold and old. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've used that just to smooth out any lines and ridges and things. Um, we are now taking nude satin, uh, and I'm going to do two coats of that, curing each coat. And then I'm going to use iced mocha, and I'm going to start just by doing a cross, and then I'm going to kind of purposefully wibbly wobbly the cross because I was kind of going for um like you know some old beaten up knobbly sticks or wood um so shaky hands now's your time to shine um uh, speaking of it's now sunny again <laughs> um so I'll cure this um with its kind of wibbly wobbly uneven knobbly knobbly bits um this this was this looked better in my head um <laughs> but it i mean it's all right but i wanted to do one you know for easter easter is about jesus and chocolate <laughs> so we're doing a cross um I'm now taking butterscotch, um, you could use the nude satin again, and just, I was trying to do some wood grains, but realised it's really only big enough for like one single stroke. Um, so I'm dipping my brush in the butterscotch and the ice mocha, um, just so that, I don't know, there's a bit of both on the brush and just wiggling it through. We're not really adding wood detail because it is so thin, but just um, a little summon summon. Um, so I'm going to cure that and then I'm taking poison ivy. This doesn't get seen much, but I wanted it to be sort of in the background. And I'm going to run this as a vine um, around the cross. So I'm going um, over the wood in this bit. And then as we curl that bit, we won't go over the wood. We'll bring it out from the other side just so it looks like it's kind of curling around it. I should have done a tighter kind of curl, but again quick easy didn't want to give anything too much attention <laughs> uh, and now I'm taking um just some small dots I don't know why I'm using my striping brush for this it's far too long 
um, but just doing some, again, some very small drunk baby dots in pink petals was that, I think, um, and powder blue, and then I think lemonade, and then I will cure those, um, and then we'll do something else when we get there. I tried not to speed things up too much, but now we're looking at, you know, a half an hour video almost, and that's just, nobody wants to listen to me for that long. Um, but here we are. <laughs> Uh, so now lemonade and then I'll cure those yeah this didn't go how I wanted it to go but it's still kind of cute it's like a poor man's version of what I had planned for it to be <laughs> um, and then taking turtle beach again and just again doing some little pokey out bits um, with, with a lot of these sort of quick and easy flower things it's not so much that they actually look or you know you paint them as what they're meant to look like it's just that all together when you're finished it does look like little flowers um but under a microscope it's just blobs and wiggles i'm using white here alaska um just because i thought it was going to be too fussy if i start using darker or lighter versions of each color i just well that and it was easier <laughs> so i used white just to do some sort of wiggles around the flowers and then that's it I'm topping with diamond gloss, of course, of course. I did quite a thick coat um, because, again, when you do sort of dot flowers like this, you can get, in, it will be a bit bumpy. So I did a thick coat. It wasn't so bumpy that, well, no, that light line's a bit wiggly. Probably should have used super gloss, um, but I just did a thick coat of diamond gloss. That's that one done. Um, dusky pink and oh I forgot to film me doing dusky pink which is an amazing pink so I did two coats of that I'm now taking Alaska I'm using my brush and this is how I would do it on a person as well I would use my brush for this bit pushing up and then spreading the bristles out to get the sides in a sort of curve and then uh, I was pushing up a bit higher in the center just to make the oh it's a, a head a rabbit's head um, a bit bigger and I haven't cured that yet I'm taking a brush, I'm going to do a straight line up and then um, a kind of, this is a bent ear. Although if that ear was bent, then that part of it wouldn't come as high as the, the, the straight bit wouldn't come as high as that because if you unfolded that ear, he'd have one ear longer than the other. Maybe he does have one ear longer than the other. Or they think it's as a she because there's eyelashes involved. Um, but, you know, I don't discriminate against bunny ear length. Um, so I'm just used those lines as a guide. And now I'm making ears just by obviously making that fatter and sort of curving the sides a little bit. Um, and the same with this. I think I straighten out the, I don't know what part to call it, the bottom of the fold. You'll see. Um and then thickening out the base of that. And then once that's all done, I will cure it. I think I only did, did I do one coat? I think maybe I did two coats, but um, you know, if it, if it looks fine after one, then that's fine as well. Um, oh yeah, so I made the, the bit where the ear had folded over that line as a sort of almost a right angle, just a straight, you, I'll, I'll put an arrow there. I can't describe what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm now taking pink petals. I was going to do the um, background, the dusky pink as this, but I thought it would just look like a, a hole in the ear if it's the same color as the background. So I'm using pink petals, um, making the inside of the ear pink. And then on this side, we'll take it up to where it folds over. And then at that fold mark, we'll do a straight line. So um, not that bit there, that bit there. So we'll make that straight because that's where the ear will fold over. And then probably flash curing as I go. Um, and oh, just making sure that bit is straight. I probably could have taken that at more of an angle, um, but it'll do, <laughs> it'll do. That's my motto. Uh, I'm now taking what? Oh, Dolly Daydream. And I'm going to do, again, Drunk Baby Flowers um, because they are quick, they are easy, they are kind of foolproof. Um, so doing those, I'm doing Dolly Daydream and Violet Vibes. I think 
at some point in a minute I realized I should have flashed even for you know five ten seconds um, the first color I put down so I do this and then think how am I going to put that yellow one in that gap so without it all bleeding together so um, I just flashed that and I'm plonking yellow there which is lemonade again and then I assume we'll be doing some wiggles yes so I'm using pink petals um, to do our kind of wiggles there's not a great deal of I mean you could do how you know they those those flower drawing people <laughs> um, you could do the detail that they do but it's so small um, it's kind of you know it's unnecessary because the wiggles work fine um, I think <laughs> you might disagree uh, what have I got there? I used banana milkshake um, and then lilac lace, which is very light purple. I've lost one of my purple polishes. It has disappeared from my drawer. Nobody's been here. I've used it since I've stopped, you know, since we've been in lockdown and it's just gone. I don't know. It's called Tooth Fairy. Maybe she came and took it. Um, Turtle Beach again, little V's, little pokey out bits. And then she has this flowery headband majig. What are they called? The types of things that flower girls wore on their heads at weddings in the 80s. <laughs> um, we had a message from Ashley Pedersen. She said, I love your channel so much. It helps me relieve my severe anxiety at night. That That's so nice to hear. I, I, I know anxiety all too well and... Um, you know, I have certain programs or things that I'll watch that help me. Um, so if my videos, you know, help someone, you know, have a bit of escapism or just relax or have a giggle, that means the world. And I, I know a few of you have said that. So I appreciate you telling me because it's it's lovely to hear. And, and you know, I, I really am sort of honoured to help with that sort of thing. It, it means a lot to know. Um, and hi to Sasha as well, sending lots of love. I've taken blackout and I showed you the brush because I had the faintest amount on there I did two U's or very you know just curves and then two little curves coming off it and then boom closed eyes and eyelashes uh, I'm doing two dots pulling them together with Dolly Daydream for her little nose and then I've mixed pink petals with the first base which is a base coat so it's clear to make some blush you could use a you know a sheer pink there is a sheer pink in uh, gel perfection for this but that meant getting another bottle out the drawer and my desk was already a mess um so i'm <laughs> sorry that was a bit aggressive i am using that for some blush and where i've put put it on there i'm just fading out or feathering out the edges of these sort of circles that we've added um, I was trying to avoid a harsh line, but it's it's a sheer colour, so even if you don't want to feather the edges out, it's not it's not going to look harsh anyway because it's sheer. Um, so I'm curing that, and now oh, what are we doing now? Oh, I was really enjoying painting this, so I thought, what else can I do? What can I add to it? And there is really no room for anything else, so I'm just adding some little dots. Um, I don't know why dots. Why not? And there was really no room for anything else so we'll cure that and then top her with super gloss um just because of the flowers and this sort of you know raised little bumpy areas so i'm topping her with super gloss and then she's done i think this is my favorite one i have a client who i suspect would love this so i'm hoping that she lets me do this on her um we need a name for her i'm gonna call her penelope <laughs> Um, no, let me know in the comments what you think we should name her. Um, I'm taking banana milkshake now and doing two coats. This is quite a, a thick, creamy colour, so making sure, the reason I've done lots of strokes, I was just making sure that it wasn't um, too thick in any places. I've taken this brush that I found that's never been used and I'm just going to f*** it up. Um, so I'm pushing it. I've cut some bits off. I've cut a bit of length off areas. I've just cut into just cut into the bristles and then I've just sort of smushed it onto my desk and twisted it just to mess the end up really so we can now use it for this I've dipped it into iced mocha um, but before doing this step I just dabbed a bit of it off a bit of the excess that we would picked up um, and then I'm just 
stabbing, poking at the nail to give it some freckles. <laughs> They're not freckles. What are those little brown spots called on eggs? I don't know. Let's go with freckles. Um, and I'm adding some bigger dots with a brush and then cured it and now topping with Make It Velvet and then we have a little mini egg. How good are mini eggs? If you don't have mini eggs in your country, oh my goodness me, you need to start a petition because they're incredible. Um, so that's our mini egg. You could do a whole set with all the mini egg colors. That would look really cool. Um, so that was nice and easy. All you need to do is a brush up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm now taking powder blue. Oh, this is, is this the last one I think? Oh, this one, this one's a disaster, I think. I've got foil stuck on my finger that see all that stuff on my finger it's foil don't ask me how it got there I don't know um I'm taking parakeet and just doing just streaking I'm not streaking that's illegal um doing some streaks on the bottom part of the nail I'm going to cure those and then take turtle beach and do the same again so this is kind of grass not that kind of grass either also illegal um and the, this was another one that looked a lot better in my head um, and the execution, not so great. Um, but I, I left it in because I thought that on, in theory it works and other people will probably be able to pull it off better than I have. Um, and I'm just taking the, whichever colour that was, Violet Vibes, maybe? Um, and dotting. So I'm doing the dots wider at the bottom and then getting into a sort of single file at the top and um, then I'm taking Dolly Daydream and going over them I don't think I've cured them yet um, maybe I did I don't know um, no I hadn't cured them yet um, and doing some more closer to the front I was going for kind of you know lavender fields but I just I don't know I didn't do the best job but again I like I like the theory of it um, oh I've messed that one up never mind I'm sure there's one that looks like that out there somewhere um, I know I've got pink that's not lavender but I was just going for that kind of shape long flowery I don't know flowers uh, oh then things just took a turn for the worse because I thought this looks awful let's throw some more colors at the situation <laughs> um, so I took lemonade and did that um, and then cured oh and then yeah why did I take this? A super dark purple, pixie purple, awesome purple, just doesn't go. Um, but I thought you couldn't really see them much. And at this point, I'd already decided I wasn't gonna put it in the video. But here it is, it found its way through. I tried to save it by adding some clouds. So I'm taking Alaska and literally just patting. Pat, pat, patty, pat. There's a more in-depth look at painting clouds on my channel so head over there and if you haven't subscribed already then subscribe if you like the videos you know if you don't then that would be a silly thing to do uh, if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up as well you may as well you're here um i'm topping this with diamond gloss as well and then it was gone 3 a.m i thought i'm not doing any more it's going to be seven nails not ten as intended um i hope you like at least one of them um, if there is one that you particularly like and you'd like me to do a whole set based around that, then let me know because I could do that. Um, this is all of them. There's my favourite one on the end. Let me know which one is your favourite. You can follow me on Instagram at Miss Jo's Nail Co. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you do like the video and give it a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I missed an upload, did I? I think I have missed an upload. Uh, sorry about that. Um, thank you for being here. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. -bye.